the behavior of the apostles on Holy Thursday can cut a little bit too close to home. It's easy to want to identify with the apostles at the Last Supper, when they're there, hanging on Jesus' every word, maybe not exactly understanding him, maybe making some mistakes, but attentive, listening. St. Peter directing St. John to lay his head on Christ's chest, to listen to his heart, and all the rest. It's a sacred attention, the great and glorious moment of the first feast of the Christian people. But fast forward just an hour when Christ is in agony in the garden, longing for the love of the human heart. And here, these same apostles asleep, unable to attend to the silence of the Lord with quite the same fervor in which they attended to his words. This is why Christ gives us the Eucharist, not just as a once in a, in a lifetime, once on an occasion kind of event, but in every single time we come to the church to offer to him our worship. Because our focus is easily lost. We easily allow ourselves to fall asleep, to get distracted, even during the celebration of the liturgy. This Holy Thursday we have the occasion to renew our commitment to the Lord, to ask him to wake us up, to let us see him, to be attentive, to see him face to face when we see the priest lift up the, the consecrated bread and wine that have become his body and his blood, that we can see them and we can say with true attention, true alertness, and true faith, my Lord and my God.